Welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas Fletcher and I'm the host of the LCSW Network. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor by smashing that like button, by subscribing to the channel, and by sharing this video with your social work colleagues and friends. The purpose of this channel is to create a community of hope and support where social workers can come for relevant news, information, and inspiration. Welcome back to Self-Care Saturday. Welcome back to Season 3, Episode 38 of our Self-Care Saturday series. So we are continuing to cover excerpts from my book, Self-Care Tips for Social Workers and Other Licensed Mental Health Professionals, now available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle formats. So in today's show, we will be covering an excerpt from Chapter 32 on reaffirming our common humanity. So in this episode, we will continue to discuss the self-care practice and benefits of recognizing and reaffirming our common humanity, which is one of the three elements of self-compassion as developed by Dr. Kristen Neff. All right, so let's get into the excerpt. So given the last two years that we've gone through this global pandemic, I think it's really important, really important that we talk about reaffirming our common humanity. Many of us have gone from working in person in our offices and our agencies to telehealth or telework. This means that for many of us who are used to seeing our coworkers every day, and sharing that informal connection with our coworkers. Some of us have lost that human connection. It's really important to reflect on our common humanity. Again, this is one of the three components of self-compassion that Kristen Neff talks about. So let's talk about what she means by common humanity. Neff defines common humanity as recognizing that suffering and personal failure is a part of the shared human experience. Rather than isolating our connections to others or our relationships to others is an important pathway to self-compassion. Given what we've gone through over the past few years, it's really important that we all recognize our shared common humanity. I think it's something that we need to reflect on every day. We all have had to find new ways to connect, given what we've gone through. We have to practice the mindset that we're all in this together. I have a mentor that I've known for several years now. His name is Dreamer. Shout out to Dreamer. He's a wise man. He's not a social worker, but I've learned about this aspect of common humanity from him. For years, he's always told me, Tom, we're all in this together. We're all in this together. And it's true. Whether we are struggling personally or professionally, whether we've gone through job loss or have lost family members or friends, we are, we're all in this together. We have to find ways of connecting. For many of us, Social media is one way that we stay connected, and that's great. Many of us, if we're lucky, have made new friends in the communities where we live. I know that has been true for myself and my wife. Those new friendships are so great. As I discussed in Chapter 20, it's also important to maintain those older or established friendships as well. However we connect to our common humanity, it's important for our self-care and well-being. So I'm going to stop sharing from the book. But again, reaffirming our common humanity. It's so important. And there's many ways for us to do that. But I think the common denominator is just recognizing, that, again, that we're all in this together. So I'm going to stop there. But I want to thank you all for watching this video. To all the social workers and other licensed mental health professionals, thank you for the work that you do every day. For your clients, for your agency, 
and for the profession. Please continue to support each other and yourselves. Bye for now.